Welcome in to the Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Happy to have you with us. On today's show, we will be discussing who the Ravens free agents are here in 2023. We have the full list. Also, going to break down in tiers of the priority of which Baltimore should resign. What players they should prioritize to bring back this upcoming season. We'll go over all that and more in just a few moments from right now. Before we do, folks, we are getting closer by the day to 9,000 subscribers here on the channel. We are growing rapidly here on the Ravens Rundown as we cover the daily news and rumors on your favorite team. We're counting down towards the NFL draft, free agency, trades, and more. It's all in one place daily Baltimore Ravens coverage. If you love the Baltimore Ravens, this is the channel for you. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. Best part about it, it's free. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. The Ravens have a grand total of 22 players that will enter free agency, and that collectively includes who will be unrestricted free agents and restricted free agents. And so, what we'll do first is go over the full list in alphabetical order by last name of who is entering free agency for Baltimore. We'll kind of go rapid fire and just go through this one by one. Let's begin with Vince Beagle at outside linebacker. Of course, he didn't play this season, but he'll be entering free agency, as is Christian Cologne. He'll be a restricted free agent. Kenyon Drake, Kyle Fuller, and Justice Hill also entering free agency as well. Meanwhile, Justin Houston also enters free agency for Baltimore. Remember, they signed him late in the offseason last year. It'd be intriguing to see how long the process takes potentially for him. Tyler Huntley is a restricted free agent. Have you heard that Lamar Jackson's a free agent? Did you know that one? Yeah. <laughs> More on that, of course. We'll be talking about Lamar coming up later as he enters free agency. Jawan James at the tackle spot, as is Stephen Means as well, enters free agency. And some more names for you include Nick Moore at long snapper, Josh Oliver at tight end, Marcus Peters, Delshawn Phillips is a restricted free agent, and Jason Pierre-Paul also enters free agency as well. Remember, he was signed there uh, this season and was, had a pretty decent impact even with as, as old as he was. A couple more names for you. Ben Powers at the offensive guard spot. Demarcus Robinson at wide receiver. He was signed after the Raiders cut him. Kevon Seymour and Geno Stone. Geno Stone is a restricted free agent. And then three more names for you to wrap it all up include Brent Urban at defensive end, Sammy Watkins, and Christian Welch, who is a restricted free agent. So that is the full list of free agents for the Baltimore Ravens. I'll go through my tier system here in just one moment. But before we get to that, I want to know who is the number one player the Ravens need to re-sign this offseason? The obvious answer is Lamar Jackson. But I know there's been some of you in the comments that have been telling me that you don't want Lamar to come back to Baltimore. So if it's not Lamar, if it's not uh, Lamar Jackson, then who is it? Let me know in the comment section. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it. Get your votes in. Let me know who is the number one player you want Baltimore to bring back next year. So here is how we are going to do things. I have three tiers of Ravens free agents and exactly where they fit. Tier number one is the must have to bring back. Tier number two is the free agents that you might get outbid for, potentially, that it's going to be competitive to try to bring them back. And then the Tier 3 free agents are going to be the guys that you would consider, but it's not necessarily a must-have. So let's start Tier 1, obviously, Lamar Jackson. I have said this. I know not everybody agrees with me. Lamar Jackson, you have to bring back next year. You have to get a long-term deal. And I'm saying that it's not just the franchise tag. That's not good enough. I want to see a long-term contract that keeps Lamar Jackson in Baltimore for a very long time, that they lock him up, lock him down. To me, that is a must. That has to be done. And I know some of you have been saying, well, he's had the injuries and all that, and there's questions about how he is as a passer. But look, we know that Lamar Jackson is, at the very least, a top-10 quarterback. And teams spend years, sometimes decades, trying to find that franchise quarterback, and it's a lot easier for Baltimore 
if you pay that guy now, rather than going on, you know, some chase of some sorts over the next few years to find another franchise quarterback. Pay Lamar, get the job done, get him a new deal as far as I'm concerned. Will Baltimore re-sign Lamar Jackson? What do you guys think? Will a long-term deal get done? Or will they settle for the franchise tag and trade? What will it be for Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens? This is your chance to chime in in the comment section. Let me know why for yes, in for no. Will Baltimore re-sign Lamar Jackson or not? Let me know in the comment section below. Today's show is sponsored by Fume. We all have bad habits, and we certainly know how hard they can be to kick those bad habits. Our sponsor, Fume, is on a mission to accelerate humanity's breakup from the bad habits that consume far too many of us. Fume is a natural diffusive device that uses plants and behavioral science to help you trade out your negative habit for a positive one. I didn't expect much out of Fume when I got it, but the minty sensation is really powerful and it really hits the back of the throat. The Journey Pack comes with three unique flavors for you to enjoy, including maple pepper, crisp mint, and white cranberry. Fume is not a vape. It's a non-electronic device designed to transform your negative habits. The easiest way to stop a bad habit is to switch to a positive one, and Fume is designed perfectly to do just that. Head to tryfume.com slash chatsports and use code chatsports to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com slash chatsports and use code chatsports to save an additional 10% off your order today. Moving on now, let's go to tier two of free agency. And these are the guys that I think you might be in a bidding war of some sorts for. It's not a given that you're going to be able to keep all these guys. Ben Powers. Here was somebody that was competing for a starting job when the year began. And not only did he win a starting job, he did a really good job in filling that role for Baltimore this year. And I think his services are going to be wanted by other teams. Don't know if you have the money potentially to bring back. Ben Powers or not, but you would like to bring him back if you can. Justin Houston, I mean, the guy is, what, 34 years old? In this past season, he led the Ravens in sacks. He fouled the fountain of youth this year. And you head into 2023, at this point in time, there's not an obvious answer of younger talent for pass rushers right now. And I expect the Ravens to be drafting some edge rushers, one or two, or maybe even sign some guys in free agency of some sorts. But Justin Houston is a guy that I think you could still bring back next year to give this another go and to potentially train up some of the younger guys on that defense. I think he showed that he still has something left in the tank based on the year that he had there. The other guy that's in tier two for me is Tyler Huntley at the quarterback position. And I know what you may be thinking, that... You know, hey, Tyler Huntley had his moments this past season, but there was the inconsistency there. But remember, this is a guy that was undrafted just a couple of years ago. He's still a fairly young quarterback. And if Lamar is going to be your guy for the future, which I hope is the case, there's not a better quarterback out there to do the offense that Lamar runs to be the backup than Tyler Huntley to run the same system in place. I don't think Tyler Huntley could cost you too much. I think other teams will be interested, but I would like to see Tyler Huntley back in Baltimore. He's on my tier two. It's not a must. It's not you have to get it done no matter what, like Lamar Jackson, but you would prefer to be able to bring Tyler Huntley back as far as I'm concerned. Name a player the Ravens should re-sign. Let me know in the comments section who comes to mind, who you would like to see in a Ravens uniform in 2023. Let me know in the comments section below who comes to mind, who you want to see remain with this team. Tier three, these are the guys that it'd be cool if they came back, but you're not beating yourself if they don't come back. And I start with Marcus Peters at the cornerback position. Marcus Peters getting older. He's had the injury issues, and he got burned a lot this past season. Marcus Peters, a talented player. I know he's been a headache in the locker room at times throughout his career. But Marcus Peters, I think that you look at the Ravens' secondary, and at this point in time, 
there's not a better option to be that number two corner than Marcus Peters still is. So Marcus Peters on that list. Demarcus Robinson, D-Rob, was the highest uh, receiver in yardage this year of pure wide receivers from this roster. Although D-Rob's season wasn't great by any means, he was still better than a lot of other guys within your own roster. Although I'm not some huge D-Rob fan. I don't like the idea of him being your number one or number two receiver, but I'm more than open to the idea of bringing D-Rob back and being your number three or number four receiver potentially as far as that goes. But if he's looking based on this past year for money to be a one or two, no thanks. Lastly, Geno Stone. Geno Stone, really good football player. But I think the reason why you would be hesitant about this one potentially is how loaded the Ravens are at the safety position. When you talk about Marcus Williams being back there, Kyle Hamilton, Chuck Clark and company, Geno Stone, good football player, but that doesn't have to happen necessarily because you have other pieces that you've invested in. You gave a big contract to Marcus Williams last year, Kyle Hamilton, is one of the cornerstone pieces for the future of this defense. So it's not a must that you have to have Geno Stone back necessarily, but it doesn't hurt you if he is back. So back to Marcus Peters. Chime in. Quick question before we wrap up today's show. Will Marcus Peters re-sign with the Baltimore Ravens? What do you think? Type R for re-sign. Type P for pass. Let me know in the comment section. Will Marcus Peters be back in a Baltimore Ravens uniform in 2023? Let me know in the comment section. R for resign, P for pass. As always, you can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tyler Jones Live. And I will see you next time right here on the Ravens Rundown. Thanks for joining us.